Since the dawn of time, men and women have been coexisting together, starting families, and building their lives from the ground up. Each person had a specific job, but this depended on whether you were classified as a man or a woman. Men were taught to be tough, not show emotion, and work to provide for their families. They were seen as a symbol of strength, while women were seen as the opposite. Women provided for their house by taking care of the children, cooking meals, doing laundry, and any other household chore that would not wrinkle their dress. These were passed on from generation to generation as each new wave of offspring learned the societal norms of being a man or a woman. Before the Mayflower traveled from England to the New World in the 1600s, Native Americans were making a living in the Americas. Each person had a set job they were required to do in order to provide for the tribe. Men were hunters and gatherers while women cooked the food and cared for the children. No one wanted to disturb the societal norms because this is what they were comfortable with. The 1800s didn't really bring a lot of changes when it came to family role. The father had the right to control his children. But by the end of the century, the Civil War, industrialization, and immigration brought changes about within the way we view families. Men went away for war, and women and children were working in factories to provide for families. At the end of the 1800s, three pivotal moments of our nation's history sparked a slow yet rapid change for families and overall gender views. Tensions were high as nationalism, the arms race, and imperialism were driving factors that sparked the assassination, leading the American government to join the world's effort for peace. Men were sent off to war. During this time, women were standing up for their rights. Women's suffrage was a decades-long fight to win the right for women to vote. In 1848, a group of abolitionist activists, mostly women, gathered in Seneca Falls, New York, to discuss the problem of women's rights. They were invited there by reformers Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Lucretia Mott. While World War I did slow the movement, the Seneca Falls Convention agreed. American women were autonomous individuals who deserved their own political identities. The Roaring Twenties was a time of new inventions and frivolous spending. Families had less kids, but families stole the same traditional values. Farmers needed to tend to their fields, meaning the children would be helping with household chores to keep the farms afloat. Men typically worked long hours in professions involving hard labor. Despite the image of the 1920s women as independent and rebellious, women and families with children still took on caring for children and taking care of household tasks as their primary job. The end of the suffrage movement was concluded with more than 8 million women across the United States voting in elections for the first time. After failing to appease Germany, nations entered another world war. With the family shifting roles, each member was initially shocked and filled with mixed emotions. With added stresses, it was an emotional time, to say the least. The American family would undoubtedly be changed forever. The 1960s was a pivotal time for gender roles. Home life in the 70s was still centrally, largely around the family. <laughs> Most kids came home from school, did their homework, ate dinner with their parents, and then watched TV or went out to play. In the American homes, mom was now going out to work. In the 70s, she was giving, given more options than ever, no longer limited to just a teacher or secretary. Women began to take their place in corporate offices, among other jobs, to maintain and support her family. Women were no longer stuck on relying and having men rely for them on the household. The next 20 years, up until the 2000s, were known for its technological advancement and moving away from tradition. Women were having children later in life, and there was a lot of pregnancy before marriage. However, if this was to happen 60 years ago, unmarried pregnant women were sent to special hostels and had to give up their child for adoption. This is where you can clearly see the change in society. It was harder to stereotype, as there is becoming less of a structure or routine. It was up to people how they wanted to live their lives, whether it was the best way or not. Lifestyles had completely changed. Social norms had begun with more freedom and develop into what we're used to now. In today's day and age, anyone can be anything. While child count for households can grow or decline, women and men are working the same jobs. Everyone takes on an equal role when it comes to chores. Children get more freedom and less family time. There's more of a focus on education, not craft, or specifically helping the family. From what gender roles originally were, we as humans have evolved our roles completely. Not only specific aspects of history, but our ability to ex be more accepting of others' opinions and roles throughout the society have overall changed our perspective as on the needed for gender roles in our society. Although gender roles will never truly disappear because of our psychological need for them, they will always have the ability to adapt and change.
created using Powtoon.